some of the funniest jokes in New York City were developed on this stage. From Jerry Seinfeld to Colin Quinn, the biggest names in stand-up have all paid a visit to the Creek and the Cave, a stand-up comedy venue in Long Island City. But for the past six months, it's been in the dark. Owner Rebecca Trent says if the citywide ban on live performances isn't loosened, this slice of culture along Jackson Avenue will be no more. We are all struggling. We are all hanging on by a thread. And for the governor to act like we aren't is absolutely insane. Trent, just one of many small business owners in Queens, making a plea for help. She, along with elected officials and advocates from the borough, led a call for action to save their livelihoods before it's too late. It's pretty clear at this point, Washington is not coming to our rescue, at least not this version of Washington. Who amongst us has six months of rent to front while, while they sit by and do nothing with no lifeline? What they want is rent relief. Also, for insurance companies to start responding to their business interruption insurance claims. But most of all, the loosening of government restrictions. Well, this was our season. Like the restrictions that have kept businesses like the Chocolate Factory Theater, a nonprofit performing arts venue in LIC, frozen in time. Do you think we're going to wake up when this is over and all of a sudden, oh, please put on those performances? There's a backlog of stuff that was canceled. There is a backlog of stuff to be created. After Governor Cuomo's surprise announcement this week on indoor dining being allowed to start up again at 25% capacity, the businesses that rely on live performances are now hoping there's something in the pipeline for them too. Unless we get some sort of real measures that help the small business owners, you're going to lose the heart of the city. In Long Island City, I'm Angie Ramos, PIX11 News.